what was your guys first anime and when i say this i mean what was your first anime away from like the main big three you you know what i'm talking about like the dragon balls the naruto's bleachers all of those kind of shows maybe maybe one piece throw that in there what was like the one show that got you into anime that wasn't just the big uh, the big main ones because for most people it was obviously Dragon Ball because for me I started watching anime when I was around four five but that was because you know Dragon Ball on Cartoon Network and Naruto I don't remember how I was watching Naruto I don't even remember it being on Cartoon Network so I don't really remember how I ended up watching that but I do remember my first ever anime that I decided to watch that wasn't the big three this is when I truly started getting into anime so for context I don't actually watch any shows basically like any any Netflix shows I don't really see the last show I saw fully that I was actually engaged in was Golden Time ever since then I haven't really gone back to TV shows. It's not like I hate TV shows, but I'd rather just watch anime. And to be honest, I haven't been watching as much anime recently, even though there's so many good shows. I don't know. I've been watching a lot of YouTube, trying to, you know, zone in YouTube and just doing my other stuff. So, and actually reading the mangas, I've been on YouTube. I've been looking at a lot of those manga channels because I do like manga as well. But... I don't really watch any shows. Anime has just been my thing since young. Obviously, I did watch cartoons, but as I grew older, it just became more anime and YouTube. Back to the topic, though. The first ever anime that I decided to watch for myself was a show called Toradora. It's kind of like a drama... Yeah, it's more like a drama romance kind of anime. It's kind of like golden time it's it's just a classic romance anime there's ryuji the main character and uh i think tiger is the main girl one of the main girls yeah so ryuji and tiger this was the first anime that i vividly remember uh vividly remember watching and it's actually the reason I got into anime. I think I went from Toradora to Golden Time to... I don't really have any other anime that I'm thinking about. I, I don't know what, what I did after that, but I know I went from Toradora to Golden Time. Toradora was kind of interesting because growing up, all, all I watched was literally fighting shows you know cartoons like um beyblade bakugan monsuno just everything that wasn't romance basically like johnny test like i was like a 2000s kid so we just had kind of it was like 2000s and 90s i was the very uh like early 2000s so the not some of the 90s shows were still going on as well as the 2000s so it was just a mix of everything some 90s some 2000s as well all that kind of stuff but as when i got into anime because obviously you start with dragon ball and then end up at toradora somehow i don't know how i ended up at toradora but for my first actual anime that i picked out i really enjoyed it actually as a romance not being a romance person when it came to my cartoons it was kind of out of nowhere for me to just start with a romance one and one with a trait that i don't even really like that much nowadays the sundere yeah the sundere archetype i i don't i don't know about you guys all right but i do not enjoy sundere's they're just super annoying they've been overplayed so much so much especially with how many like maybe it's because the romance type of 
Sundere. I've watched so many animes with a Sundere love interest, and it's just, over time it's just it's like layers of onion, bro. You keep peeling it back, and I'm just like, there's nothing good. There's nothing good about them. Half the time they hurt the protagonist's feelings, and sometimes actually hurt them physically. So not only are they hurting them physically, they're hurting them mentally and spiritually. And I just don't like that in a relationship. Well, obviously it's animation, but then I look at like real life, I relate it back to real life, and I'm like, if someone acted this way towards me, I would not think, oh, they're into me. I'd think, this fucker hates me. I need a ditch. And I need to dump this person or just, re you know, I, I just need to, throw all my friends out and just start anew because I did something wrong to end up in the situation where I'm getting abused. The archetype of a sundere has become such uh, it's like a it's just such a leech. It's it's like isekais. Isekais everyone uses them. Isekai, overpowered protagonists and fucking sundares. Ugh! I hate Sundarees, bruv. Fuck. I see them so often. I'd rather have a Kudere, which is just... Kudere is a more... You know, chill kind of... Chill characters. I don't know how to... How to describe it. They're basically the more, like, kind of cool character. They try to act cool. They're kind of mysterious. Kudere. Yandere's I like more than Sundere's. Depending on the Yandere though, because Yandere's they definitely show their love towards you. But with that, they also show everyone else a side that might lead to uh unforeseen consequences, we will just say. But I definitely like them way more than Sundarees. I, re I, I really don't like them. So it's very interesting now looking back at Toradora because I still, when I ended up rating it, when someone asked me how what I'd rate, I think I've made it an 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 for me. I might have to re rewatch it from, from all the memories, which I mean, they're biased as hell because it was literally one of my, the first anime I chose to watch myself. So, you know, it might, might be just biased. I'd still rate it at least a 9 out of 10. I've got very fond memories of it. It's just a classic for me. Especially if you're like into romance. I'd say do this one. The characters in it, they, they, have, pretty, they have pretty funny dynamics. One of them's called, I don't know how you pronounce it, Amy, I, Army? Army, I'm pretty sure her name is. Basically, kind of like that celebrity, you know, in those manga videos where it's just like the celebrity popular girl falls for the nerdy, you know, unpopular guy. It's kind of like that. She's, you know, she's popular because he's the opposite of being popular because he's a loser. Well, let's be honest, because he is a loser. But she ends up falling in love. I forgot what for. I honestly don't remember. I don't remember, it's been so long. And just reminds me of all these mangas nowadays. Just like unpopular kid somehow dating, popular fucking idol character and all this shit. But I, I'm making this video just to kind of kind of put it out to the world for people to tell their first experience with act um their first experience of anime that wasn't, you know, the big three. Like, what was the show that you, f like, the first show that you chose yourself to watch? And tell us the genre and tell us your, you know, your synopsis and how you feel about it back then versus now. Because I still feel very strongly about the show, and if you like romance, I think you should watch it. I don't know if you're, depending on what kind of, uh, what kind of archetype the characters, I guess you could, I'm talking like it's a, vi uh, like it's a video game. But I, I play video games all the time. That's all I can relate it to. Because you might like Sundarees. You might like Yandarees. You might like Kudarees. You might like Romance. You might... 
there's a whole lot but if you like romance with uh kind of quote-unquote harem you know romance harem kind of thing then torador is a pretty pretty decent anime especially to start out with i don't know a lot of people are different i'd say more girls you know not many guys would watch torador but is what it is i have my taste everybody has else has their taste doesn't matter <laughs>